It's the five most fascinating people in Swift Current. Proudly sponsored by the Swift Current Mall, the center at one and four. Moose World, Inc. The Lyric Theater, Swift Current's home for the performing arts. The Prairie Post, Prairie Life, Prairie People. And by Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. Swift Current Mall is a proud partner of this program, which showcases five fascinating individuals. Uh, these individuals have made Swift Current their home, and they've made major contributions towards the community. In today's spotlight, Trent McLeary, whose passion for the sport of hockey has never wavered, no matter what obstacles were thrown in his path. In 1986, the Broncos returned home to Swift Current after an absence of more than 12 years, when the franchise was purchased from Lethbridge. Among those fans welcoming the Broncos home and eager to take part in their first training camp was a young 14-year-old hockey player by the name of Trent McLeary. Enlisted by the Broncos throughout his early career, an invitation to take part in a training camp with the Ottawa Senators soon focused the young player and led him to realize that above all else, he wanted to make it in the NHL. I wanted to play hockey. It's like, what a great lifestyle that would be. What do you have to do? Do this, this, and this. Okay, what else? This, this, and this. Okay. And you just keep doing it and you, you, you work, you see somebody working hard, you work harder. In his final season with the Swift Current Broncos, Trent and his team brought home the WHL championship in a final game against Portland. That remains one of the biggest highlights of Trent's career. But it was that moment of stepping onto the ice as an Ottawa Senator that really brought it home to him that he had finally achieved his dream and made it to the NHL. From Ottawa, Trent was then traded for a short stint with the Boston Bruins before becoming part of what he calls one of the greatest sport franchises in the world. It was a privilege to play for Montreal, so it, I have lots of memories there and, and uh, lots of friends still with the organization. And, and, but playing for two original six teams and two teams in Canada, I played with some great teams. Then on the afternoon of January 29th, 2000, Trent's world was turned upside down. A devastating accident brought Trent's NHL career to a halt. Went to block the shot and basically got hurt. And he kind of lived by the sword, died by the sword. But uh, would I have done anything different? No. And that's, I, I can sleep at night with that fact. But uh, do I wish that things would have turned out differently? Absolutely. His larynx fractured and moments from death Trent says it was the quick response of the training staff and the doctors on site who can be credited with saving his life. That and the simple act of skating back to the bench after he had been hurt. They said that was probably one of the reasons I lived, was because I skated it off. By the time the doctors would have been able to get on the ice to do the trach, I would have been dead. As you see me skating off, I'm collapsing into the trainer's arms because mm -hmm. I ran out of air. And from there, they dragged me right into the clinic and they dislocated my jaw and opened my airway so some air could get in. And then they also, I'm not even sure what the, the word is, they bagged me, uh, the bag with the, the mouthpiece, and they just pushed air into me. No air could get out, but they pushed air into me, and that basically kept me alive for about five minutes till they could get me to the hospital. While Trent tried unsuccessfully to make a comeback the following season, the damage to his larynx was too great to return to his former level of play within the NHL. Hard decisions and a transition needed to be made. Crediting the Montreal Canadiens with helping him to make the transition to an off-ice career, Trent returned home to Swift Current, where he acted as a scout for the Canadiens for five years. Then after spending many hours on the road traveling, he chose to become a certified financial planner in order to remain closer to his home and family. My support system was always in Swift Current, so it was, a, it was kind of a no-brainer to come back. And from here, then that's when I got into scouting and, and continued on. But uh, just, it's a comfortable place. And that's, having said that, it's, it's a place that you can, you can make a family and, and, and have a career. So it, why, wouldn't a, why wouldn't a guy come back here? Today, hockey is not completely gone from Trent's life. As an assistant coach with both his daughter Madeline and his son Ryan's minor hockey teams, Trent has now begun to introduce the sport he loves to a new generation of hockey players. I love seeing the kids and, and, and teach them how to play hockey. And, and it's actually funny because some of the kids now are getting old enough that they might see one of my hockey cards. Like, holy smokes, he played. 
wow. And they get all excited. It's like, I'm, you're my favorite. It's like, no, no, I'm not your favorite player. Go Eakin or, or, or yeah. somebody like that. I, I'm not. I don't think my kids have figured out what I used to do. And it's like, oh, yeah, dad played hockey. Yeah, whatever. It's a dad. Trent has also managed to keep involved with the Swift Current Broncos, but this time on the other side of the table as a member of the board of directors. It's a fun job being on the other side as a player, then I was kind of in management, and now I'm more on the, the board of directors side trying to run it efficiently and to have it uh, be sustainable and to, uh, to have a, a city like Swift Current, the smallest in the CHL, to enjoy the team and to to realize what we have here. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the one thing that I don't think Swift Current realizes. That if this if this team ever leaves this area, there's no way it'll ever come back. Just because this is way too small of a market. Mm -hmm. But it's here now and it's it's doing good and uh, look at the building, look at the team that we have and and it's uh, it's a great franchise and I'm proud to be part of it. Hockey has always been a part of Trent McCleary's life and always will be. An experience that Trent has tried to share with kids who otherwise might never have the chance to play hockey or any other sports. Through the McCleary Marlowe Moen Foundation formed with his fellow local NHLers. Through it he hopes that other kids will be able to make their dreams a reality. And as for his own children? Will my kids ever play hockey? They have the same chances as anybody else. Very, very small to be an NHL hockey player and I wish that they have fun at it that they get good enough that they can go play beer leagues and they can go play in no-hit tournaments. And I had playing in the, the uh, old-timers tournament in the last couple of years. And it's fantastic because what do you do? You go out, you hang out with a bunch of guys, and you, you have fun. So that's, that's the stage that I want to get them to. If they go beyond that and play hockey, fantastic. I don't expect that, and, and uh, that's not the push that I'm, I'm trying to give them. But uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Trent McLeary, one of the five most fascinating people in Swift Current.